Hello and welcome to this, the latest edition of the Screen One interview. And today I am joined by none other than Andy Bark from the cast of Pretty Woman, um, who is classed as Happy Man, um, which yes. is an, an interesting role name, I have to say. Um, you're also <laughs> playing the hotel manager. For those of you who've seen the film, will know the Hector Elon, I can never pronounce his name, Hector Elonzo role. Yes, that's the one. Pronounce that's that one. wrong. I'll have to edit that, but we will worry about I, I would have gone with that as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, welcome, Andy. Thank you for coming on. Um, it's a pleasure Thank to have you. you. Um, so we might as well just start. Do you want to tell us about the characters that you play in Pretty Woman? Yeah. So um, Happy Man, as you said, like when you do look at the billing, you kind of go, who's Happy Man? He's yeah. basically, the, the whole concept of this character is like he is the narrator of the show. He guides Vivian along the journey as well as helps Edward out. And he tries to help Kit as well, but then she finds her own way. But um, he he basically jumps from character to character just to steer people in the right direction. And kind of like the audience friends as well, I would say. But um, he's the welcome to Hollywood guy at the beginning. So I kind of see him, um, Happy Man himself, as like a street performer. That's very much like getting people in, enjoying, feel good, that sort of thing. And then these characters you meet along the way, he kind of goes, jumps into the next one, which is Mr. Thompson, a hotel manager. Um, and then also I play a shop uh, manager called Mr. Hollister, a jazz musician, as well as a conductor. <laughs> You get paid for each of those roles, or do you just get one flat fee? <laughs> yeah, just jump into it. That's it. Yeah, That's exactly, easy. Yeah. Um, so, um, ostensibly, you've got the best role in the show. You get the best songs. Um, you get the you get all the big numbers, and or at least you're leading the big numbers, pretty much. Um, outside of the two wonderful leads. Um, so, how is that? I mean, and because, like you said, you're 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 doing four roles. That's a lot of running around, a lot of costume changes. How does that? How does that work? Um, it's actually, uh, I tell you what, it's not too bad. Like, it's amazing because everyone, the whole company is just incredible. Like the the, the backup you get from when you're just standing that little bit further forward and stuff, it, the support on stage is amazing. But it, it's not as much pressure as what you think because because the story is so driven anyway. Yeah. The the character itself is just that little little bit to go to the audience. This is what's happening next. Just to do the link, because obviously in film, it's so much easier just to watch something click from scene to scene, day to day, night to, do you know what I mean? Night to night. Yeah. But with this, it's kind of like that little barrier that just goes, oh, we're going into this now. We're going into that now. Do you know what I mean? And um, it's not it's not as hard work. I, I don't want to say it's not hard work, but it's not as like jumping around from character to character because yeah. you're you're literally, as you're coming off, you're coming back on as someone else. It's not that bad. It's just the switching part that's the yeah. hardest bit for me. I think, yeah. like, the accents, the singing, the different styles of singing and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's it's good fun, though. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Have you come a cropper with that at all, forgetting which character you're in? Um, I nearly did. I, I have to say, there was one point when um, it was Oliver Thompson's first show like, on Tuesday, and as I came on, he's amazing, and he's so tall compared to me. And I came on and I did my Hollister scene. And I kind of forgot where I was just looking up at him. I was just like... Gazing at your amazing beauty. Going <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, I kind of uh, had to think, oh, right back into it. But um, yeah, it's, it's not, not too bad. But um, with every scene, every character you meet, you know where you are, where your stature is. And the costume helps as well, obviously. Yeah. If I know I'm in a suit, I'm Mr. Thompson. If I'm in my raincoat and like all my open Hawaiian shirt stuff, you know you're happy, man. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I think the hardest thing is like having mannerisms for each character. Yeah. So standing still to me with my hat moving around like being a madman <laughs> as happy <Yeah>. man <laughs> it was did that take an awful lot of rehearsal to get it all right or um it, I, I think what it was like we bob bob harms who played the character before me he was he's an absolute genius and he came up with a lot of stuff that worked for him and they were when we started uh, when we first opened the show uh, our director jerry mitchell was amazing to let him like organically come up with stuff and i was a little bit nervous stepping into the role uh, thinking that I might have to copy Bob or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But then they were really generous with me, like for the rehearsal process, like Dom, Dom, our resident director, he was just like, yes, feel this, feel that, maybe give me a little hint one way. But then organically, it was just lucky enough that they would just let me do what you kind of come up with. So oh, each character is kind of like what I've made, which is lovely. So yeah, I think the process of making it was a little bit more like, hmm, what can I do? What can I do? But then doing it, you kind of, like I said, with the costume, it organically happens. Yeah, quite yeah. lucky. 
So that, so there's more of your personality in it then. Yeah, I, I very much so. I feel I feel like Happy Man is very much me, uh, the Mr. Thompson RP sort of American sort of person. Not so much. That was a little bit trickier, but I mean, posture wise, that helps and stuff. But yeah, it's yeah. I think I feel like Happy Man's more me. <laughs> So you wander around the house randomly just breaking yeah. and saying, yeah. dinner is this way. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hertfordshire. That's where I live. <laughs> so you've also got, because the other thing about the Savoy, you've got the orchestra pit on the, mm. with the holes in the stage. Because where I was sitting when I saw the show there, obviously there was several rows of people. And I think everybody was thinking the same thing, how nobody falls into the orchestra pit when you're yeah. all, because it, it's it's not a slow moving show. It's a, no. it's pretty full on. So yeah. again, how you know? I mean, obviously you can see, obviously you're in a higher position now, so you can literally see it. But it seems a little bit precarious at times. Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, it, that 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 passerelle that goes out the front. When we first started teching it back at the Piccadilly, you kind of like doing it in the rehearsal room. You find you see lines on the floor where they map everything out, and you yeah. kind of like step on the line every now and then. But then when you get there, you're like you want me to do a double turn where there okay yeah. and you're like okay how am I going to do this like and the the girls are amazing in our show because they're wearing high heels whilst doing yeah. double pir like double pirouettes at the front of the stage and I'm just like for them hats off to them because I don't know how they deal with it mentally but yeah. I think at first you kind of go right this is it right no more there is one part where me and Courtney actually and never give up on the dream we turn into each other and we've always said like every day we're like yeah, that, that nearly got me that one. <laughs> Am I going to either fall into the audience or into the orchestra pit? I don't yeah. know what's safer. <laughs> it depends if they've got their bows up, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Into an instant kebab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but that would be interesting. If you ever get to your last night, you can just take it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Stage dive. dive into the pit. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. 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 Just go yeah. catch me and see what they all do. <laughs> they part. Yeah. <laughs> like the red you end up in the drum. Yeah. It would be, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, so <laughs> mentioned Ollie, and it was his first show this Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and yeah. anybody who's never seen Ollie Thompson live, I thoroughly recommend you do. The man is amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so what's it like when someone new comes in? So obviously like Danny Mac has now left and you've been used to him for several months. And do yeah. you go back into rehearsal process with the new or do you just sort of, you're that professional, you kind of just wean straight in? We, we, do, we do have a rehearsal process. Like last week um, before we, he opened, we, had, we was in every single day and we started mm -hmm. running the show and stuff like that. Just to, it's, it's not so much for us because we know the lines, we know whereabouts they should stand or whereabouts they're directed to. So it's not as bad for us, but it's for them as well to get used to how we come on or how many people are around them all the time. Um, and Ollie, Ollie's amazing. He just, he's such a, a professional. He just literally yeah. switched on go. But then also the way that we deliver lines, they, yeah. it changes sometimes. Even when a cover goes on or for someone else, you, you kind of go, oh, this is a bit different, but it's nice. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, for, for, the, for the time of rehearsals, it was... It was a bit hard because obviously doing that and then the shows in the evening. Yeah. But I mean, it's well worth it because you know what you're going to get out of the at the at the end of it. And it's just like Tuesday. He was absolutely phenomenal. It's like he's been there for years. He's just yeah. uh, he's a proper seasoned pro. And um, and I have to say, like, every, he came on stage with like an aura. It's just like he's amazing. Very 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 lucky to have him here for sure. But we do miss Danny Mac as well, obviously. Yeah, Danny, Dan, Danny was great. Well. I mean, Danny was great. I mean, obviously, again, it's that it's that thing. Like you're talking about when you took over the role, it's just different personalities and yeah. stuff. But yeah, so I suppose what the question is, is it is it quite seamless or is it, you know, do you have to work at it a bit? Oh, you do. You, I feel like you do have to work at it a little bit, yes. Just to get used to timing and stuff like that. Like I said, like where people deliver different lines, you kind of have to, like it's going to take probably about a week for him to settle and yeah. for us to get used to what I do, what he does, what Amy does, what Courtney does, what John does, what everyone else does. Mm. Um, and yeah, I feel like you do have to work quite hard to sl slip in, but but he's been rehearsing for like three weeks prior to this as well. Yeah. So he, him and Amy, their relationship has to be spot on yeah. because obviously they're the love interest and that's not something you could just go right action. Yeah. Like you kind of, do you know what I mean? Um, it's something organic they have to build together as well as like with, with like Hannah, our, um, our intimacy coach and stuff like that to work out how, how these scenes are going to happen and 
yeah, I'm, so, I'm pretty sure it's going to be it's hard work on his behalf as well as ours yeah. for like a week. But yeah. So, you know, that's an interesting role. I mean, obviously, with, you know, things that have gone on, we now have intimacy coaches. Yeah. Um, is that quite foreign when you first come to that kind of thing or is it? Yeah, I have to say, because this is obviously a new sort of thing they're bringing in for like probably the last few years now. Mm. And um it's so good. It's so yeah. detrimental to the like to the actual show itself, any show really, mm. because it's just people making people feel comfortable. Because like you don't want that awkward situation, right? Go, this happens here, you kiss here, right? Moving on. Yeah. It's like, well, you can't just like put that to the side. You have to, do you know what I mean, have a moment. And it's nice because everyone will clear the room, they'll talk about it, and then they'll see what what who's comfortable with what, how are things gonna happen. It's it's really interesting. And also it just may as an actor, it kind of go, oh, like I've got yeah. no worries. I don't have to feel insecure. I can mm -hmm. say what well, if there's something I don't like or I'm a bit ticklish under my arm or something stupid as that. Yeah. It's it, it's good for the people to talk about it. And I, I do think that um intimacy, having an intimacy coach is very beneficial to a show, hundred percent. Yeah. The, one of the other things about pretty women is it's a bit more I don't want to use the word risque, but I'm going to use that word. It's not yeah. overly risque, but it's it's not your common garden old musical. No, it's, no. It's racy, I think is possibly a word I would use. Yeah, I, I would say that, yeah. Obviously, no, a majority of people do know what the film's about and yeah. know what the story is about. And that you can't just, like you like we said before, you can't brush over things yeah. and, and just shine a light and then a little bit of dance and that's it. It has got a major plot to the story um them scenes and i you, i feel like yeah you can't really just like push it to the side and it is a bit as you say yeah, risque in a way but um it's really interesting though it's so beautifully done mm. like the way i feel like on this stage and it's 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 something that you you kind of like you're lost in rather than yeah. all awkward do you know what i mean yeah it's, it's not it's lewd really... either is it it's, it's, no. it's done in the correct manner so yeah um, so obviously pretty woman was massive when it mm. first came out back in 1990 and i'm not going to suggest that i saw it in the cinema back in 1990 but you know <laughs> um so it was quite a while ago um so i mean i assume you've seen it and you'll watch it is there is there any kind of you know feeling that you're you're trying to avoid replicating it or homage or or do, yeah. you know, is that not in your mind at all and you just sort of that's, um, the, that's our marker away we go i feel like it's not really so much on the mind anymore because mm -hmm. I don't feel like like for example my character the only character that's kind of like you have the Hollywood character that welcomes everyone yeah. to Hollywood in the film but then my character itself is not actually in the show apart from yeah. the hotel manager but yeah. again I'm not paying homage to the yeah. previous actor do you know what I mean or how it was it was laid out before it's very much like I've got a different story where for example Kits and the Vivians and the Edwards, it's a lot harder because you've got them people in mind, haven't you? Or when people come to see the show, they they sometimes go, oh, that's it. But the best thing about, I think, this show is because it's original music as well, yeah. there's nothing that's kind of like to go, like it's not like a, a jukebox musical where it would go this into a song from the 80s. So you're yeah. automatically transported back to the film. This is like a brand new like concept as such. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we were lucky to have the original writers do this. So like they they've obviously used what they've had from screen and developed it to stage. So the stage script I feel like does work really well actually, especially yeah, with yeah. the new songs and stuff. But yeah, yeah no, it, it it really is breathing new life into. It. I know that's overused, <clears throat> but um, no, yeah, yeah, it really does. But I have to say, Amy has got the Julia Roberts um, laugh nailed. She um, has, hasn't she? Yeah, with the... it, yeah it's yeah. brilliant. It's really very well done. So have you have you had any of the cast come in at all? Have you have you seen any of them? Mm -hmm. No, no, we we did have a, Brian Adams came down. Yeah, who's the composer. He came, I think that was yeah. the most shocking thing when I saw Brian Adams had written the music. I was yeah, like, uh, yeah, I was like, really, really, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he came down. But it was um, it was really funny because we was in we just had the first act and we've got beginners for um, act two and everyone's kind of getting downstairs ready for like the pole uh, the opening of act two and all of a sudden it was like. Hello. And he was like, hey, good to see you guys. And he came around, took a picture of all us, shook our hands, goes, he's been watching from the sound desk, oh. like the whole show, and no one knew. And it was just like, but then obviously act two, everyone's like, got some. I suppose it's a good thing, though, because if you knew, you'd probably be more unsettled, wouldn't you? Going exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like when anyone like uh, celebrity wise comes in and stuff, or like uh, an idol or someone else comes to watch the show, you're always like, oh my gosh, they're watching, they're watching. 
And we shouldn't think like that, but yeah. everyone does. Everyone's no, human. Do. You know I mean? It's a natural thing. So has Samantha yeah. Dark's been in? Because obviously she originated the rollout. And, um, I don't know if she has, because she's been so busy with Frozen. Frozen, yeah. Yeah, she's like doing an amazing job over there. But um, I think, because um, Amy knows her quite well, um, and they, I think they've like, seen each other a few bits. And then Amy sang as well at a gala night. And... Um, and I think uh, Sam was performing that night as well. So she's kind of, she, I'm guessing she has seen Amy sing yeah. the song as well. But it's, again, if you listen to the soundtrack and listen to our Amy, it's, it, they're completely different, but they're both incredible. Do you know what I mean? It's we're very, yeah. very lucky. Yeah. yeah. So did, when Brian Adams was there, did anybody take the opportunity before they walked on stage to do the, uh, everything I do, Brian, I'm doing it. <laughs> did, did anybody do that? Because that's Damn an it, opportunity no. if, if somebody didn't. <laughs> Probably oh, he should have done it. Yeah, he probably, or he probably just would have walked out to be yeah, fair. He just like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? He was the most loveliest person as well. He was just yeah. he didn't want any praise or anything like that, or like people fussing over him. He was just literally like, "Hey, how are you?" And chat, 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 and he was just like, and they were like, "Are you ready to go outside to watch?" Like, we just have beginners. He was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, I've got to go." Like, he's very, very lovely person. But, In yeah, other words, it was an honor. Get out of our way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got to perform now. <laughs> yeah, just go. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty woman. Movie to there's been a lot, there's been a huge shift from uh theater shows that get turned into films. Now yeah. it seems to be movies are all being turned into stage shows and musicals. So, um, yeah. so here's a question for you. Um, and it's mm. probably going to be quite hard because most things have already been done at this point. But is there any movie <laughs> you would love to see be the next big musical? Yeah, Hook. Oh, wow, cracking choice. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I've always thought about it because it was always one of my favorite uh, films when I was a kid. And imagine dressing that set. You've got two sets. You've got the pirate ship, and then you've got Neverland. Like, um, sorry, the uh, the Lost Boys camp. Like, just, oh, it'd just be incredible. And like, Ruth, like he'd have like an old starlight thing where Rufio skates through the audience yeah. and stuff like that. I yeah. Like and you'd you'd have to you'd have to get license from Skrillex though for Bangarang because you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd have to. Do, there's no no other way you could do that song. No, exactly, so, exactly. You have to do it. So but, you fancy um, yourself as Hook, do you? Oh no, I'm probably more of a smee, probably know me. But yeah, a bit of a um with a big on full on wig and uh, Oh yeah, mate, I'd love to play a hook, but um yeah, I feel like a smee would be a, a, a fun character as well. But yeah. Is it? I don't know. Either that or I'd be Nano the dog, probably. No. <laughs> You'd be one of the lost boys. Lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's been lost for a long time. A long time, yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's a cracking choice. So um, so you mentioned Starlight there, because you've also been in Starlight. Yes. In, out in yeah. Germany. How, how was that? Because there's been an awful lot of talk recently of them bringing it back into the West End. Um, oh, Andrew Lloyd Webber keeps hinting at it. Um, Ollie Tomps it. Um, did a workshop on it not so long ago. He yes. was school, obviously. Yes. Choice for him. Um, so, you know, is it something you'd love to go back to or see? Do you know what? I, I would. I, I'd definitely see it again if I could. I'd love to do it. It was just, I did I did two years Germany and I did a UK tour in Asia. So I did four years all in all. Mm. And my body is ruined from it. So many, so many silly injuries and bits and bobs, but it was, it was the hardest thing, but the most rewarding thing I did, I have to say, because you, you finish the day and you just go, we just did a whole, we'd learn how to, sh like, especially in Germany, I learned how to skate, dance on skates, as well as sing the show in German and wear all these amazing costumes and then doing a, skating around the audience. And it was incredible. It was the first show I ever saw, actually, when I was a kid. Yeah. And it was all, that kind of, I'd say that kind of, like, in the back of my mind, would be like, I'd love to do that. Do you know what I mean? And uh, got the opportunity to do that as my first musical. It was just like incredible. But I, if it came over, yeah, I'd love to do it again. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because I interviewed Ray. Um, well, the original Rusty. Um, I, 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 I work with Ray. Yeah. Yeah, he's an amazing individual. Um, yes. So, and he said, you know, it killed his body as well. Um, yeah. He was never the same afterwards. That's no. why we went to Popper because he didn't have to move about so much. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, um, I was in I was in the cast with him when he did Papa. Okay. So yeah, we was at skate school together. So it was so funny because back then when he did it as Rusty, they used to have skate doubles. So yeah. they used to have like stunt doubles. So he'll go into a tunnel and all yeah, of a sudden the, the the other one would take over. Yeah. Yeah. So I was expecting when we started our skate rehearsals with with the original Rusty Ray yeah. Shell, 
he see him on skates. I was like, "Are you all right? <laughs> Have you forgot everything?" Yeah. <laughs> but he was Where just like, on? "I never skated." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing, like, absolutely amazing. Yeah, because the the original reason why they stopped Starlight was because of the health and safety measures, and it was just becoming too complicated. So yeah. in, in Germany, I understand it's not quite so strict. I think is the safest way to put it. Um, um, yeah, in, in hindsight, but they have they do have like a stage insurance and stuff like that. You're so well looked after over there. And the, but the good thing about it, because there's so many precautions put into place over there, like you have to you have to do warm up, you have to do skate warm up, you have to do this. Do you know what I mean? And then you get signed off for certain things. For example, wrist guards. You can get yeah. if you if you're in skating for a long time and then your skate coach um, would look and go, right, you don't need to wear wrist guards anymore. I'm signing you off because you're, you're able to stand up <laughs> for that sort of stuff. Like, but over here. Yeah, I don't know. how I don't know how it work. Because like you say, there is so many different risque sort of factors yeah. in it, I guess. But yeah. I'm not even yeah. sure where they would stage it now because obviously Wicked, no. Wicked is yeah. now entrenched in that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, it. That's not going definitely. anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see how they would do it. But it'd be nice to see you in it. So um, Oh, yeah, yeah I'd, love to, I'd love to do it. I love playing Greaseball. Greaseball was my favourite character. Oh, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was, yeah, it was the best. And... It was just so much fun. But yeah, I'd love to, I probably would do it again for sure if it came back, if it came back. I was going to yeah. say, if it came back, you may have to fight Ollie for Greaseball. <laughs> yeah. Might be better off the CB if they bring that back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. There we go. Anyway, we've kind of wandered off the Pretty Woman track. Which Sorry, yes. Yeah. yeah. To talk about. Um, so, um, will you be going out on tour? Because it, finish, it finishes up at the Savoy in May. So, uh, in June, June, June the sorry, 18th. The yep. That's right. And then he um, goes out on tour. Are you going on? He goes tour? out goes out on tour uh, in October. Uh don't know yet. Um they're auditioning at the moment and stuff. So yeah, you never so do know. Do you have to re-audition for the tour? Uh it, I guess it just depends because they might have something else in mind. They might want to change things. I think yeah. the best thing about the whole fact that it's a, it is a new show and it's yeah. only been here in this theatre. Like the US tour is is slightly different to our version as well. So there's bits that aren't in it or sets, set pieces that aren't in it and stuff. So they might want to change things around and try different ways or depending on matching up because normally your kits and um, happy mans are normally opposites and then the Edwards and Vivian. So, but you never know. I might have to. So you can't just roll in going, don't you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, no. They'll be like, yeah. who? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Looking through the CV, yeah, going for it. Yeah. Yep, no. <laughs> so, have you got your headshot? So, yeah. <laughs> so have you got any plans for anything else? I know you've had other things you've been working on. Um, in um fact, yeah, no, not really. High like, school musical thing. Uh, yes, yes, I've got that next week, which is my theatre school, Smash Arts Theatre Company. Um, my wife and uh, business partner Alex. Looking forward to that. It's going to be amazing. So we do like an intense I'll workshop. The button for that, so people can hit you up on that. Thank you. Yes, amazing. Thank you. And then we've got a big summer experience, West End summer experience, which is Fame the musical. But um, yeah, so it basically just with our school, which is amazing. It's like it's growing from like I'd say it was year to year, but now it's like month to month. It's getting bigger and bigger, which is incredible. And so many of amazing friends from the West End coming to do workshops, which is great. And um, but yeah, it's uh, I, other than that, it's just back to auditioning and just pray that I get another job or they accept me on on any show. Really, well, they'd be foolish not to take you if they did. Oh, so, bless you, um, thank you. Is I've there been, any show I've been... you'd like to be in? Is there anything Ooh, you, that's current? I will not current at the moment. I do. I like obviously Hades Town is coming over, and the music is absolutely phenomenal. We don't know when or where it's going, but uh, the one show I'd love to do would be. Beetlejuice and Beetlejuice. Oh. You gotta say my name. Say cartwheel. Go. Yeah. That's another one that's been mooted that is coming over, but nobody seems to know when. Yeah, when, yeah. where, where or when. But um at so the moment. Running yourself up on Beetlejuice, are we? I would love it. I would love to do that. I went to see it on Broadway yeah. and uh me and my wife were just literally like blown away. It's just so clever. It's just brilliant. And I feel like for me, it's it's not too dissimilar to Happy Man as such. Yeah. So yeah you just get but, to play around yeah exactly exactly yeah. just get get to have fun <laughs> quite lucky <laughs> so there we go um thank you very much for your time andy we've come to the end of our interview so um make sure you go and see pretty woman at the savoy theater before it closes in june 
Um, Andy in it, starring as Mr. Happy Man and the theatre ma uh, manager. Do that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just take over. You run the building. Um, <laughs> yeah. Brian Adams, what to do. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love that dressing room. room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're just moving into the new one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll do that again. <laughs> So make sure you go and see Pretty Woman at the Savoy Theatre with Andy in it, um, starring as Mr. Happy Man and the hotel manager. Um, grab your tickets before it goes out on tour. It's a fantastic show. Um, so we just want to thank you for your time, Andy. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, great talking about Starlight as well as Pretty Woman. Um, and uh, hopefully we're going to see you in everything soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But thank you so much for having me. No been worries amazing. at all. Thank, thank you, you. and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, bye, bye.